The monotony, the toil, the stress, day by day, task by pointless task, work through a thousand paper cuts bleeds you of your identity and will to live. Games, on the other hand, make you feel alive. I talked with Teresa Maret, higher story about bringing the energy of play to work. Guys! Games in the workplace have a variety of really positive effects. Getting to know people, being able to loosen up and have fun, and you guys can work together more positively as well. Her first tip, bring the games to the office. Do small things like bringing a ping pong table in or having kind of a gaming area in your office. That game area helps define boundaries. Having a dedicated game area makes it known where that kind of behavior is appropriate versus somebody who's sitting there on deadline getting beamed in the back of the head by a paper wad. That's probably not going to help the culture side very much. Boom. Got him. Talking to you. Busted. Next, choose inclusive games. Activities where everybody can feel comfortable participating and that you don't have to have a heavy sports background to feel included. Something like kickball, for example. No beer spilled. Next, avoid mean games. If it's an activity where there's a single loser, something like poker, for example, where you actually have a measurable of how poorly you did as an individual, or paintball, where somebody feels like they were ganged up on. Dodgeball? Yeah, dodgeball is kind of the uh, end all for getting your aggression out on any particular person. So that's typically not recommended. You're out, all right! Finally, don't play mean with the guest list. Don't create that kind of mean girl's click. Janice, I can't invite you. If you're going to have a work activity, invite everybody to be part of it. So fetch. So come on, have a little fun. Getting your game on at work is what's the deal. Oh, <laughs> we got all of that one.